So I'm going to start with a new multi-device application and a Blink application is just fine. So what I'm wanting to do is take a checkbox and then uh, live bind that to a, um, well we'll do an FDMM table. And this is just a sort of demo application so uh, let's add a new field which is my boolean, but it's not going to be of type boolean, it's going to be type string, and there's going to be one character in size. And I'm also just going to add a an edit on here so we can actually see the, the physical value of it in the table. So I need to set this active, so that will create all the fields and what have you, which is much easier than with a client data set, we have to go create data set and all that kind of stuff, but anyway. Um, so we need to live bind it. So I can do the bind visually, which uh, generally works fine for small applications, but if you're trying to do live bindings on an application with lots of data sets and lots of lots of controls, um, I've found the uh, live binding designer to be uh, too slow and have to create the bindings manually. But in, in this instance, uh, it's, it's just fine. So we can run that now. And if we check our checkbox, we see it becomes uh, T or F, depending if it's true or false. Um, so I can manually set that to F, and it becomes unchecked. And if I manually set this to true, nothing happens because it's trying to set this to true or false as the you know a full word. So if I had a five character uh, string there, um, that would be fine. But what I in fact want to do is bind this to uh, yes and no, or Y and N to my boolean field. Uh, this is an issue I had the other day. So uh, to solve this problem we have to look at the binding itself for our checkbox and there are two things we need to change, the custom format and custom pars. Um, if I come here to this uh, blog post by Malcolm Groves, um, he sort of explains this although I think his expressions are a little bit more verbose than they need to be. Uh, and you can have a read of that uh, if you want to go into a little bit more detail than what I'm going to cover today. But we want to say percent %s equals y, so that's to convert our uh, value, string value, to our uh, boolean value for the, the tick box. So uh, this percent, percent %s in this case is not the percent %s you're probably familiar familiar with in as in a, a string uh, in a format command, um, but instead it's I think uh, percent %s stands for source. So to go in the reverse direction, we need a little expression uh, if the source is so. Uh, percent %s here is our boolean value, and we want to convert that to a y or an n. And close that bracket. So if we run this now, and I check our checkbox, it does indeed say uh, yes or no, and if I set that to y, it checks, and anything else for instance, it unchecks, so, or uh, ideally no. So that is the basically how you would bind a checkbox to a um, string field. And of course those expressions could be could be anything. Uh, they could be yes and no, or true and false, or one and zero, uh, which I think is what Malcolm's um, thing does. So it's it's a little bit obscure, but um, the the live bindings are, are very powerful, and I'm sort of just coming to grips with them at the moment. Um, so I'm building some um, mobile applications. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. I hope you found it useful. I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv.